What's good with YouTube? It's your boy Almighty Max, man. And today, bro, we're reacting to the luckiest people caught on camera, man. And let's ride into the event, man. If you're not subscribed, bro, subscribe, drop a like. Sometimes the ball just bounces your way. An incredibly lucky moment to watch in an NBA game was when Russell Westbrook missed an ambitious dunk, but gets an extremely lucky bounce. Sometimes we wish we could add special effects in our real life speeches. Somehow this crew managed to get an incredible effect when a lightning hit right after he said 2020 has not been the best year. <laughs> nah, that's God telling him, like, yeah, nigga, you're right. You finna make it worse. When a Redditor was making a slow motion footage of some bees, he somehow managed to capture an amazing shot of a bee collision. Oh, shit. During a BMX chance. race, after one of the riders made an incredible jump which he didn't land, he lost the lead by quite a bit, but somehow managed to get himself up and actually passed the other riders and won the race. That's crazy. That was really impressive that he won, so. God damn! That ain't gonna roll on we can often walls. see whales leap out of the water. An incredibly lucky moment for a tour boat was when the whale made a giant leap, but missed them by just a few inches. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nigga, imagine, bro. In a Matrix-like moment, when two guys were imitating Conor McGregor at night, somehow he was coincidentally driving by and stopped to say hi to them. And that probably made the guy's night. <laughs> now that's cool as fuck. That's cool as fuck, actually. How did, how did McGregor know he was like, he was, they were imitating him, though? How, how does he know that the, like, and driver got very lucky when his styrofoam box jumped back into his van while driving twice in a row. Now that's crazy. That's like doing a bottle flip challenge, but car version. Even though drone footage is usually pretty good to see at events, sometimes mistakes can happen with drones. A skier got pretty lucky when a drone malfunctioned and he missed it by just a few feet. Oh, Oh, that would have hurt. Yeah, that would have hit him. Would they let him redo that? That's a good question, right? In what looked like a moment from the Spider Man movie, a guy in oh, motorcycle damn. managed to avoid getting hurt at all when he jumped into the top of the car he hit. Nah, that nigga lucky he landed in front of that car, because I should have been clipped. At a car race, one of the drivers pushed another off the track, and in a one in a million save, it turns out that the push actually helped him get ahead. Started back here coming to the line, they got together and the car started wobbling and bobbling. Just a little short but I cannot believe he saved that car. No, he At a moto racing a event, McQueen one of the drivers got extremely lucky when he saved himself from what would have been a very bad fall and even finished the race on his knees. Did I break something, so I just, I know. I just wanted to. Bro, that's and, and, and When a man made a sort of DIY sled, he was sliding down a hill covered in snow, which led directly to a road in which two cars were passing by pretty fast, and the man got extremely lucky. Two of them? Nah, this nigga, yo, he's looking like, yo, what the fuck? I could have died two times. What seemed to be an unlucky moment turned out to be a lucky one when Angelica Bingson's pole broke during the jump. But because of the pole break, she got another try, which turns out to be the national record. Anything like that. Our better news is she's afforded another try as a result of that. So a another she got the record. That's cool as fuck. To try to join that's hard, that's a look hard as fuck, bro. And putting the trust in her new pole, she gets over the bar. That's a new outdoor lifetime best. It's a known fact that skiing is not the safest sport. When one of the competitors attempted to do a trick while going down the hill, he got lucky and managed to stay upright and not fall. Then continues on with that 180 at the back. Zeb graduated last year. A very scary and unexpected moment happened when a car was driving along a slippery and windy road. When all of a sudden, the trees on the side of the road started falling down. Luckily, no one was hurt. Oh, shit. Yo, they all start falling like At a baseball dogs. game, a foul ball got a little too close to a crowd member. Not very often we see a circus shot in the NBA. At a San Antonio versus Oklahoma City game, Russell Westbrook got very lucky with a shot that wasn't expected at all to land. Oh my. That's gonna 
that is something I'm like, fuck, man. I'm trying to mess it thing took forever. When a wheel of a huge truck detached from the vehicle, the tires seemed to go straight for a man riding his bicycle nearby. Luckily, the wheel didn't actually touch him, and no one was hurt. Damn, look at that shit, bro. That shit's about to catch on fire. A little-known fact damn. is that sharks aren't very aggressive and rarely attack humans. But that doesn't take away the fact that they're terrifying. A scary moment to watch was when a man made a jump to the water and had an encounter with a massive white shark. <laughs> When a driver in a jeep was climbing a sort of hill, he didn't realize that at the top, there was another car parked with a person right next to it. So when he got to the top, the car's brake and the driver's reflexes were really put to the test. Yo, what the hell? When a skateboarder was doing some tricks, a kid carrying his bicycle passed by and got extremely lucky. At a Boston vs. Cleveland NBA game, when there was just a few seconds remaining, the team attempted a risky three-pointer, which didn't seem like it was going to go in, but ended up bouncing and tying the game with just one-tenth of a second remaining. I guess that Leprechaun does travel because the way this ball stayed up on the rim right here, look at the backspin that Bradley puts on that shot. Apparently standing up and grabbing something and putting it in its place can be a bit too much of an activity. These people got extremely lucky when the cup managed to go right in the cup holder by itself, thanks to the wind. I was I was with a with F1 sure. car going at speeds well over 200 miles per hour, it's almost impossible to stop or avoid hitting something if it randomly comes in front. An F1 driver got very lucky that a bird managed to save himself by like an inch of getting hit with the wheel. Oh shit, that bird said, God damn. God damn. When some trees started randomly falling into the water, a couple that were cruising with their boat in the area just left the spot seconds earlier, avoiding getting injured by the trees. That's so dumb. That's. Bro, that's a high power watching over them, my nigga. No cop, bro. Because, yeah, that would have been the end of that. When a plane was doing a takeoff in shallow water, the pilots got lucky to manage to take off completely before getting into an unsuitable place to take off. What's happening right now? I don't know anything's happening. A crazy moment to watch was at the Red Bulls Rubik's Cube World Cup, was when the competitors were actually twins, and the winner won by just 0.001 second difference. Both messed up so bad. Whoa! That's crazy. Oh! I gotta fight that one second home. Ball Guys has become a very popular game, in which you have to qualify by not being in the last ones to finish the challenge, Bro, and somehow this game. competitor got extremely lucky. <laughs> There's a very well-known high-altitude theme park in Chongqing, which attracts thousands of tourists every year. And one of the attractions is a bridge that is 500 feet above land. An incredibly yeah. scary moment was reported. That's not attracting me, my nigga. That's actually detracting me from going over there. When the safety cord released during one of the jumps, and the tourist was very lucky nothing happened. Even though a staff member said it was just a publicity stunt after the incident, an nah, investigation was made, and turns out it wasn't. At an NBA game, one of the players got very lucky with a two-pointer when he didn't even try making the shot. An incredibly wholesome and lucky moment happened when a girl was on YouTube and found someone who looked exactly like her, so she decided to contact her. And turns out she was her twin sister, who were separated at birth, and they were even adopted the same day. I found out that I actually might have a twin sister. She found out that I exist through YouTube. Go YouTube! An Australian man, who miraculously yeah, woke up from a coma, bought a scratch card and won a car. So when the news reporter asked him to reenact the moment he bought the scratch card, he actually ended up winning $250,000 during the reenactment. Oh. When we asked Bill to reenact buying his scratchy ticket. I just won $250,000. <laughs> I'm not joking. You're not, are you? Bro. Now I'm hating on him, because I need $250,000. That's crazy. They're probably giving that shit for free, too. That's tough. I mean, now I'm sad. So, I mean, I'm watching all these people get lucky and safe. I mean, I'm probably one of the unluckiest niggas in the world. I might watch Unluckiest People Caught on Camera uh, tomorrow. Keep it G. That's not, like, not like a good little video. But if you enjoyed that, man, drop a like, subscribe. You feel me? Uh, 
It's your boy Almighty Maxman, and uh, we're gonna roll to remember roll to 1K, bro. You know I mean, so drop a like, subscribe, be there, and uh, yeah, we're almost there, bro.